Here are the top seven must use things in Warframe. If you don't use at least four of them, you're either trolling or playing wrong. Number one, Railjack Crewmate. Did you know that he can kill animals on his own without priming and help? What? He can even kill a Necromic. Now, I haven't tried not armor stripping the Necromic, but he probably can kill the Necromic too. You have too many enemies in the hallway. Boom, he will clear them out for you. You don't have a weapon for the bosses, he will one-shot them faster than your weapons. He will even charge your lures in Eidolon Hunt. So you can fly and grab more lures for the second Eidolon. He will even protect you while you mine in the isolation vault, which is a good way to save time, so you don't have to go there again just to mine. The point is that you need to get him. He can do everything. Protect an objective. Mobile defense. Defense. Make you AFK. He can do so many things. So I'll show you how to get him. First, go to a dojo or a relay. Fast travel to dry dock. You will see this machine. Open it and then go to the intrinsics tab. Reach rank 9 in the command one, which will let you take that crewman and use it in missions. And rank 10 unlocks elite crewmate, which have a passive. When recruiting for on-call crewmate, you first want combat, followed by endurance, and lastly, repair. For crewmate, go to Venus Fortuna, fast travel to Ticker, click on hire crewmate, you will see all the available crewmates for the day, get the one with the stats I told you about, you will have 3 extra points so keep that in mind. For the passives, get whatever you want. For the weapon, I have a Kuba Ogres. The element I have is heat, but I heard it doesn't matter much damage wise. This is the build as you can see. From what I know, ribbons don't work for crewmates, so yeah. Number 2 is one strong weapon in every category. As you play Warframe, you will need different types of weapons for each scenario. For example, you may need a weapon that can kill many enemies fast for exterminate missions. Or you may want a weapon that can kill Demolists and Thrax for disruption or Void Cascade. Or maybe a weapon that can do lots of raw damage for bosses, as some cannot be affected by dots. Or you may want a weapon for Eidolon Hunts or Archon Hunts. The list goes on. You may even want a specific weapon for a sortie condition. Or you just want to have fun and try something new. For example, no, I use the Phylox to one-shot Archon Hunt, Corpus Demolists, and random bosses. So it's really beneficial to have these weapons. Number 3 is Platinum Source. You must have a way to gain Platinum in this game. Find something you enjoy farming that can give Plat. Chances are someone else doesn't enjoy it as they are willing to pay for the items it will draw. For example, I enjoy Eidolon hunts in a duo setting, and it drops many arcanes that sell for high amount of plat, like Energize that sells for 2.2k plat at max rank. I will show you one way you can make plat on the side, 120 plat each week. Go to the Zermin, go to the Bounty Guy and pick a rank 5 bounty which will drop void plumes. I recommend only farming on exterminate. Turn in the void plumes for daily standing till your cap runs out. Then go to Cavalero and turn your standing into arcanes till you max one out. After that sell it for platinum and there you have free platinum gain. In the time of recording, Molt Efficiency costed 120 plat which is probably the most efficient in standing to plat ratio. Number 4 is Daily Crafts. Craft a Forma every day. You will need so many Forma for building weapons, building frames, ciphers to hack, emergency ammo, and energy pads for general use. If you are early game and you have few million to spare, you must get a few of these to craft, as later you will need them to craft so many weapons and they are not easy to farm, so crafting many in advance every single day will help you a lot. 
Number five is semi tekavat. Do I even need to explain this one? Double loot, four times loot, eight times loot if you're really lucky. The cat will save you time farming as you get more resources in less time like steel lessons and orchid cell. Number six, loadouts. Having loadouts will save you lots of time as you will have the frame and weapons you need for the repetitive mission so you don't have to make it every time you play that mission. For example, I have an Arcan Hunt loadout for the boss, a spy loadout for spy missions, the list goes on. Number 7. Necromech Necromechs are really useful to kill other necromechs in the isolation vault. They can be used in any open world so they are helpful for bounties. Now I'll show you a way I use the necromech to kill Cetus ships really fast and fun. They have one of the highest damages in the game and I use them for hunting thumpers on steel path which I probably should make a farm video for so yeah. Let me know in the comments which ones of the seven you use in Warframe.